Okay, so I'm up on the roof trying to fix a problem with this breeze air evaporative cooler. And as you can see, the unit's not on, but water's coming out of the out of the drain pipe. And it's caused by <laughs> this dump valve here being stuck on. At the moment the whole unit's off. Um, and water's filling in on the top and it's coming straight out of the drain valve and it's simply caused by this drain dump valve here uh, being stuck on so I'm going to turn off the, <coughs> the water tap here okay. so what needs to happen is this valve needs to be replaced all right I've just removed the old valve and just wanted to tell you a few things you need to watch out for. When you undo that one first and then you remove the valve from here by obviously twisting this valve yeah, sort of anti-clockwise. You've got to be careful not to break this elbow piece in the process so and when you're putting it back on Again, you've got to watch out not to break this elbow piece because that then will just cause you more problems. Okay, now here's a new valve here, and that's the old one. Now there's a sort of a rubber seal on this one that you need to remove and then transfer it over to your new one so that it seals properly on the inlet. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to take the seal out of this one, the rubber seal out, and put it over to the new one, and then I'm going to put it all back. All right. Okay, I've just changed over the valve and what have I found so far uh, during the process of doing so was that I had a leak coming out of here and it was also possibly leaking here just due to the fact that I was sort of twisting this elbow sort of back and forth when I was removing and refitting the valve. Um, so what I ended up doing was putting a bit of Teflon tape here, about three, three turns, three layers. Um, before I fitted the valve on and afterwards I also had to tighten up this nut here just to stop any um, any leaks coming down here okay and on this side obviously there was a that rubber seal at the start and you just have to tighten that up um, the valve didn't actually ended up going you know with the orientation uh, so the, the, the it ended up tightening up just in a horizontal um, orientation like so so I don't think it matters in terms of the valve operation so I would have liked it to sort of hang down but that's not the case so I'm just going to leave it as it is. Okay, I'm, I'm going to get my assistant to uh, turn on the water now um, uh, from the control panel so as you can see the tap is back on and at the moment the water's not running. Okay. So please just turn on the water, water function, okay so the water is being let through now. You can see the water filling up inside the reservoir. Now the thing you got to watch out is make sure that that this piston valve here doesn't get twisted to the seal with the other items um, in the in the unit. So that's it. Okay. Uh, just as a final comment to this whole thing, if you need to get these filter covers off. Um, what you actually have to do is try and get this tongue here by through that sort of section out, uh, that cut out over there, if you can see. So what you actually have to do is actually have to, you need to actually lift it up, lift the filter up and then out, rather than trying to lift the bottom up and out from the bottom. It's the, it's the top part that actually comes out first.